Hi everyone, today's video is a little bit different. Jana, a fellow machine knitter, invited me to her YouTube channel for an interview. She's also creating tutorials, majority in Russian, but she has a few videos in English as well. I will leave a link for her channel in the description box below if you want to check them out. Jana loves knitwear very much and she liked this video from my channel and in particular the collection I did after I graduated. She made a beautiful dress inspired from one of the garments and this makes me really really happy. And this is a good opportunity for you to get to know me a little bit. If you have any more questions, please leave them in the comment section down below. I'm really happy that despite of Elena's young, busy London life, she was able to come to my channel and talk about herself, her approach to knitwear and her design. Hi, Elena. Hi, um, my name is Elena and I live in the UK for six years now. Um, I initially came here for six months to study, save some money and go back home and go to uni there but um, I ended up studying here. My plan didn't really work. Thank God it didn't work. Um, I always knew that I wanted to study something related to fashion because I enjoyed sewing at that time, but I didn't know that machine knitting existed. So the day when I learned in uni how to use one, I loved it so much. And I knew that I wanted to choose knitwear as my specialization. And um, I'm really grateful that I had the opportunity to go study here, being a studi student, was the most amazing experience of my life, truly. I've been working now for about two years in a knit studio um, where in London, where I develop swatches and I develop stitches as well for different brands according to their design brief. Um, I also create uh, show pieces, so I make a whole garment and uh, the designer uses it for his catwalk. It's, it's a really fun job, I really enjoy doing that. Uh, it just pushes me to be so creative I, I develop new things all the time and I play with the machines and with different yarns and different textures. It's really, really a cool job. Recently, I've been focusing more on my own projects. So I've been focusing on YouTube, Patreon. I really enjoy sharing my knowledge and my creativity with other knitters from around the world. So this is what I've been doing recently. Uh, one thing that I really want to do now is live tutorials. So basically, I would go live, I would knit a sample and people could knit along with me, ask me questions, uh, ask questions of, to other knitters as well from around the world. And I think that would be really, really fun. But I think I'll be really nervous first time. Um, I have to try it and just get out of my comfort zone and just do it. I will announce when I'll be doing that on my Instagram if you want to check it out. I would tell them to try new things, to try and find a very complex stitch in a garment, in a vintage jumper, and try to replicate that. By doing that, for me at least, I just realized that I am much more creative than I thought. Trying to replicate that, um, like a very complicated stitch, and then I realized, oh, I can do this, I can do this, and then try to make it look as it looks on a jumper. But this way you can just be so much more creative. That worked for me, it might work for you as well. Also, not to respect the rules all the time. For example, in this collection that you will see now, I did not respect any rules. Maybe I did a few basic calculations so I can get the measurements right, but I was just going, as I was going along, I was just building the jumpers, I was knitting a piece and then putting it into a cable. I did this collection while I was doing an internship uh, in my free time and at that internship I got really inspired. That's why I created this collection. Um, there I've learned how to add beads into my knitting and all these crazy techniques where you just do manu manual labor on the machine and you almost don't use the carriage at all. There's just so many options and so much that you can do. It's insane. I just love knitting and I hope you will get inspired by this collection. I will show you some close-ups now.
thank you very much. It was pleasure having you here on my channel. I believe that audience was inspired by your beautiful swatches and gorgeous sweaters and dresses. And they probably will be interested to watch your videos and learn more about you, your knitting technique. So my question is, what is the easiest way to find you? I know that you have YouTube channel and Instagram. I will put link to both uh, below this video. Do you have an internet page? Do you teach? Do you have some classes? Do you sell your patterns? My YouTube channel is Knitology One Times One. Also, I am very active on Instagram. I post almost every single day there, at least a story with what I'm doing, what I'm working on. I'm not doing any teaching at the moment, but I think these live tutorials that I was telling you before, this could be a way of teaching and engaging with people, which I think will be really, really fun. Um, I'm not selling any patterns at the moment. I would like to do that in the future. Uh, we'll see. But right now, the only patterns that I write are for patrons uh, on Patreon. For example, I make a video and for that stitch that I'm showing in the video, I would either develop a more complex stitch and I'll write a chart or the exact same stitches as is in the video and patrons are able to download that and then use it for their own projects. But I think I would like to sell patterns. I think that could be really nice. I will let you know if I do that in the future. Yelena, thank you very much for coming here. It was a pleasure having you here on my channel. I will keep watching your YouTube video and I hope to see you again in future. Thank you very much and bye. Thank you so much, Yana, for having me. This was really, really fun.